In this video, I will be showing you how to set up Google Translate for effective communication between you and your Chinese suppliers on 1688. In case you're just coming across my channel for the first time, I'm Lawrence Ifani by name. I do entrepreneurship videos on how to make money online as it regards to e-commerce, affiliate marketing, freelancing with digital skills. So if you're interested in getting this kind of content, please consider subscribing this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button down below this video turn on the notification bell so you always get notified each time i drop a new video okay now like i rightly said i will be taking you through the whole uh, whole step-by-step -step method on how you can set up google translate so you can be able to use it to communicate chinese suppliers effectively so we'll go now first off you need to open um your play store you open your play store already i have google translate installed okay so you open your play store and then type on the search bar google translate okay you can see it on the search menu already so open up google translate you can see i have it installed already so the next thing you just click on install if you have it you just click on open so if you have not installed it click on install so i have it i'm going to click on open to open the app okay so here is the app after installing it it's going to show you there's a pop-up that will come up before then all you just need to do is to either cancel it or say okay now you have an interface like this um this uh, video is meant for 1688 uh, but it can also work for other languages okay because google translate has a lot of languages integrated into it now what you need to do if you look at the interface is very simple okay so if you look at it some of the features i just want to explain it okay here is uh, you have um the camera option okay this camera icon here helps you to translate images i'll be doing a video on that on how on how you can use it to translate images now on this uh, where you have tab to enter text is where you type in uh, whatever you want to type and it gets translated okay now up there you have english you can see a small arrow there okay when you click on the small arrow it will bring up other languages you can choose okay maybe you want to type in the um in those languages then here you will have this double arrow double headed arrow this is where you switch between languages okay you click on it and it will, it will switch between um the language at the right and the language at the left okay let me just show you i'll tap there you can see what happened now it has switched between chinese and uh, english i'll tap it again it has switched again so that's the basic function for that then the next one you have um chinese here where you have chinese is also for languages if you click on it it will bring bring up a, a drop down like so i've clicked on it you see okay so when you click on it okay let me just explain now on the interface where you have english it the one at the left that's where you have english is basically the language you are typing on whereas the one at the right which is here where you have chinese is the language it is trans it will translate to okay so it means that the one at the right when you're typing it means you're typing in english and the one at the left you it will automatically translate to chinese okay so that being said now since we are working with um we are basically doing this uh video for uh 1688 people are that people that are using 1688 and taobao and other chinese websites so what you need to do is basically you are making use of a uh, chinese you are translating between english to chinese so the english the language you are translating to will be at the left now the most important thing you need to do is to download that language which is chinese so what you need to do is to click here even if it is not chinese that is the only language that is there you need to uh, make chinese the default language so you click there if you watch you see here there is a small good marks beside chinese that is why you are saying chinese there so i've chosen it as a default language 
So now, down here you have other, you can see, coming down here you have a lot of languages, okay? You have a lot of languages. So if you don't see Chinese up here, anywhere around here, what it means is that it falls within here. So you need to scroll down to locate where you find Chinese. You can see it here. Okay, so let's say after installing it, you did not see Chinese at the top. You need to come down here. So one thing I want you to do is, as soon as you get here, click, you see um, a download button here. You can see the download button here, where I just circled. It is important. You just click on it to download it. It helps you for offline translation. Okay, in most cases, your data or your internet connection might not be strong in that case it will not translate effectively so but you if you download the language pack it is going to help you to translate even when your network it is is not uh, strong because you already downloaded the um the language pack for offline translation so what you need to do as soon as you get here you click on this small arrow download arrow click on it to start downloading so i'm going to do now i'll click on it so I'm going to click on it. You can see it says um, offline translation. You can see it says offline translation. Translate file is 45 MB. Okay, and I have space of 3.8 gigabyte available. So what you need to do is just to click on download. Okay, and the language will start downloading. So I click on download now. So you can see up here is downloading you can see here it is downloading so you just allow it to download you can see download complete so that's completed you are done for this okay so you go back you go back then now you can start there's another thing you are supposed to do uh, you need to set up um, you need to give the app permission so that it will always translate over apps so you need to um you need to turn on um tap to translate you enable it so that it can be able to uh, translate over apps okay so what you need to do is to click where you have menu you can see here the, the triple bar there you just click on it just click on it it opens then the next thing you need to do you see where you have settings okay settings you click on settings just click on settings it's going to open this page then you can see where you have tap to translate tap to translate okay tap to translate you click on it then you see where it says enable okay you tap and enable it and you are good to go what it means if you watch at the top bar here you see there's an icon there's a google icon google translate icon there that shows it is on though in most cases it turns off automatically so but just need to keep it on okay what it does is whenever you copy any language that is not english it will try to automatically uh, bring up bring up this something like this icon you are seeing going to bring it up and when you tap tap on it it's going to do the translation for you automatically so that's what this function does so if you are done with this you just go back and you your communication have started let's say you want to chat a supplier okay for those who does not have high dictionary you don't have high dictionary maybe you're using an iphone and you can't um you, you are unable to download uh, um or you are unable to find the high dictionary in the um, apple store okay you can use this method to also uh, effectively communicate your chinese supply so what you need to do let's say you want to ask a supplier the uh, the weight of uh, a product okay you can see just make sure that here you have english and here you have chinese so what you need to do chinese simplified so what you need to do is where you have where it says tap to enter test you just tap there and then you can say hi okay comma you can now say um 
प्लीज व्हाट्स इज द ग्रॉस स्वीट्स कैन से व्हाट इज द ग्रॉस स्वीट्स ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट्स ओके यू आर डन विद दैट द नेक्स्ट थिंग यू नीड टू डू इज टू क्लिक वेयर यू हैव दिस ब्लू एरो क्लिक ऑन इट the translation is done you can see. so here now you can see the translation up here up here you have the english version you just typed and down here you have the chinese simplified version so what you need to do uh, to get to your supplier is to click where you have this small icon for copy this copy icon you just click on it you click on it you see the translation copied so you now need to open your um 16.8 app and send that to your Chinese supplier like I'm going to do right now. So what we need to do as you have copied the translated version of the test you just typed, you come back to your 16.8 and open your 16.8 app. You allow it to load. So at, as it opens, it depends on the supplier you're chatting. If you have the link or you've already chatted the supplier before, you can um, just as it opens, you locate the chat icon down here. You can see down here, okay, the chat icon. You click on it to open your chat history. Okay, it's loaded now. So what you need to do is to tap on any of the um, suppliers you want to chat or let's say this first one. You open it up, click on it. You can see I already have chats with the supplier. So what you need to do is to click where you're supposed to type, then click and hold. The paste option will come up. You click on paste. You can see the copied um, Chinese character, the translated Chinese character has been pasted here. So the next thing you need to do is to click on send. But I'm not sending this because I don't have any um, any reason to send this particular chart to this seller. Okay. So I just have to clear it because I don't have reason of sending this chart to the supplier. Okay, so that is for you uh, sending chat messages to the supplier. Now in case you already have chat history or the supplier chatted you up and you don't understand in Chinese, you don't understand um, Chinese, you wish to translate it. The only thing you need to do is to uh, copy the chat sent by your Chinese supplier. Let's say this one here let's say this one okay what i need to do is to click and hold um this option will come up here you have number one you have number two and you have number three the first one is copy means copy the second one means delete okay and the third one means forward maybe you want to forward it to somebody okay that's it so we are meant to copy so we're going to click on the first one so i click on the first one it has been copied so you now open up your google translate you come back to google translate open it up okay so what you need to do you click on where you have the double arrow to change it to chinese switch it to chinese click on it okay you click on it to switch it to chinese like so you can see now then you need to Paste the Chinese character you copied from 68. It paste it here. Okay, and it's going to translate to English. You can see it now said I will check tomorrow. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so this is how you um, effectively communicate Chinese suppliers using Google Translate. Okay, so when you set it up properly, it's going to help you to effectively communicate these suppliers the only stress there is the copying and pasting if you got value from this video please don't forget to um hit on the like button also subscribe if you're just coming across my channel for the first time make sure you also share with your friends okay stay tuned and come back for more videos bye